At this point, you should have set up your Nova UMUC web server accounts and assigned the appropriate permissions. And you should also have downloaded your text editor and FTP client. So let's go ahead and set up your first HTML page and publish it online. So in Atom, I'm going to go ahead and click File, Open Folder. And what this does is it allows me to select a folder on my local computer where I'm going to store all of my web files. I highly recommend that you store your folder and set up your directory somewhere that you can easily retrieve it and remember that location. I recommend for this class to store everything in your documents folder. I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder and call it CMST 385. And I can go ahead and browse into this folder and inside this folder I'm going to create another folder and I'm going to call it www which is going to mirror the www folder we already have on the Nova server. So I'm going to go ahead and double click in here and I've selected my www or web folder. I'm going to click the select folder button down here. And so in Atom I now have this navigation bar down the left where I can create additional files and folders. As I'm working throughout the semester, I can create additional folders for the various projects and I can also create web pages within here. So let's go ahead and create a new file and we're going to call it index.html. So if I right click here, I click new file, index.html. And so now we have an index.html file within our web folder. And what I'm going to do here is paste the contents of the project website template which I'll be providing to you in week one. And I'm going to go ahead and save this. So we now have our HTML page here and the next step will be to upload that HTML file to our Nova server. In a Mac environment to set up your files and folders go to file add project folder and we're going to go ahead and create our CMST 385 directory like I did in Windows. And in here, we're going to create another folder for www. I'm going to open the www folder. And then I can add my files here by clicking File, New File, File, Save As index.html and my target is going to be www. If I expand my www folder I now see this. So let's stop for a moment and take a look at what we've actually done. I'm going to go ahead and minimize Atom and if I go to my computer and look at my documents folder and CMST 3D5 I see this www folder we created earlier and I have my index.html. This is all on my local computer. I can actually double click this index file and it will open my web page within my web browser. You'll notice the web address up here actually tells me the local location on my file system of where index.html currently resides. So now that we have our index.html file successfully rendering in a browser from our local computer, our next step is to upload it to Nova UMUC's web server so that the rest of the world can see it. To do that, we're going to use FileZilla, the program that you downloaded earlier. We can access it by clicking Start. We can type in FileZilla. Alternatively, you can click the All Programs menu items and find it there. Once in FileZilla, we need to establish a connection to Nova. To do that, we can click on the Site Manager which is on the top left hand side of FileZilla or alternatively in the file menu. In the site manager we're going to click new site. We need to enter the host name for Nova which is nova.umuc.edu and we want to change the file transfer protocol type to SSH file transfer protocol. We need to use this SFTP SSH file transfer protocol otherwise your connection is not going to work to Nova. We want to change the login type to normal. Our username is going to be our Nova username. And the password is going to be the password you set when you connected to Nova for the first time after creating your account. Once connected, you should see 
a www folder on the right hand side. This right hand side pane represents everything that is in our Nova server currently. So if we double click www, you'll see that we don't actually have anything in this window pane. Everything we have saved currently is on our local computer, so we need to upload that. To do that in FileZilla, if we scroll up on the top window here on the left hand side, we're going to go to My Documents, where we stored everything earlier, CMST 385, and then we want to go into our local www folder, and you'll see that there's an index file here, but there's none here yet. To transfer it over, we want to either click and drag and drop, and it will actually upload your file or you can alternatively right click the file and hit upload in the file menu. I tend to like to drag and drop but if you're managing a lot of files at once it may be better to multi-select them in the left window right click and hit upload. One other step we need to do is to ensure that the file permissions are set correctly. For files, file permissions should be set to 644. For directories they should be set to 711. To check the permissions in FileZilla, all we have to do is right click the file and click on File Permissions. I'm going to change this value to 644 and we're going to click OK. At this point, we have uploaded our index.html file. The permissions are showing over here as correct. We have read write for owner, read for group, and read for world. Our web address is nova.umuc.edu tilde and then your account name which in my case is CT385B. Yours may be CT385B and then a number or a different letter and a number. Once I hit enter, we can see that the project website HTML file has successfully been uploaded to Nova. At this point, you can pat yourself on the back. You have published your first HTML file for the class.